Hello and welcome back to lesson two of CNC Late Programming. In this lesson we're going to be talking about the G71 CAN cycle for OD and ID rough turning. Using CAN cycles significantly reduces the size of a program and it makes it real easy to make changes on the fly on the depth of cut and the amount of stock that you want to leave for finishing operation. It is also a very handy tool to be able to handwrite CNC code for the lathe. So let's see how that's done. All right, for this example, we're going to be using a three inch piece of bar stock and you can see I've dimensioned this shape that we're going to be rough turning using the G71 can cycle. You can see all the diameters starting with half inch all going all the way up to two and a half and the length of each step starting at 400 all the way up to 3 inches 800. Now the first thing I want to point out is the staging of the tool before we go into the G71 CAN cycle and we're going to start at a hundred thousandths in front of the part and at least at the 3 inch diameter of the stock. Now you do that so that you don't have any wasted moves in your CAN cycle. So for this example we're going to be taking a hundred thousandths depth of cut per pass. We're going to retract fifty thousandths at the end of each pass before it starts a new pass. And we're going to leave thirty thousandths on the diameter and ten thousandths on the face in Z. So let's take a look and see what this can cycle ultimately is going to be machining. It is going to take a hundred thousandths depth of cut per pass retract fifty thousandths at the end of each pass retract to this z.100 in front of the part before it starts each next move and then leaving thirty thousandths in all x and ten thousandths on z so let's take a look at the format of the g71 can cycle next all right so here we're looking at the g71 can cycle that was used in our previous illustration to rough the excess stock from our part right here now the very first line that we're looking at here is actually the start position and we want to make sure that we start in the correct place before going into the can cycle and because we're starting with a three inch diameter we want to position our tool at x three inches and a safe distance in front of the part so z.1 inch or z 100 thousandths in front of the part and that is where for each pass the tool will retract before it takes the next pass so as long as that is a safe distance away uh, it's not critical what that is all right, so then we go into our can cycle and the first G71 line is where we determine the depth of cut and the retract distance at the end of each cut. So the U is the incremental address for our X value and that means that U.1 means a hundred thousandths depth of cut. And the R stands for retract, so that is fifty thousandths. All right, so in the second G71 line is where we start with two sequence numbers and I've highlighted those sequence numbers so that you can see why they're there. All right, so the P100 refers to the first line of our geometry and the Q in green here is referring to the last line of our geometry. Now the numbers are not critical could have made this P1 and Q2 as long as this would have been N1 and N2. So the very next piece of information is how much stock we're leaving in X. Now U again is the incremental address for X and this is the amount of stock left in X for finish. W is the incremental address for Z and that's how much stock we're leaving on the Z axis. And then the F is the feed rate and that sets the feed rate for the whole operation. So this is where we set all the parameters for our G71 CAN cycle. And then what we do next is we write the code for our geometry. So the very first line of our geometry starts with a GO 
and we tell it what the smallest diameter of the part is. So you can see in our print right here that the smallest diameter is a half an inch or a five hundred thousand. So that what that's what goes on the very first line. So then we have our first dimension, which is the length of the first step, and that is four hundred thousand. So we make sure that we put a G1 linear move Z minus four hundred thousands. Then because G1 is modal we don't have to mention it again unless it changes. So the next thing we do is we go up to X one inch and then to the next Z value which is Z minus one inch up to X one and a half over to Z minus one inch five up to X two inches over to Z minus two inches three hundred up to X two inches and a half and over three inches eight hundred thousandths. Now the very last line it tells you the start diameter of the can cycle and I've highlighted this because this number and the very start position number has to match for the G71 can cycle to work properly. So I'll take a close look at all these numbers and the format and take notice of all these comments that I've put next to each line and I hope that's helped you. So that's it for this video. If this helped you, give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.